How's it going? Product review day. I got here the Ultra Lock. Smart Deadbolt. Cerrojo Inteligente. Let's check it out. According to the box, we can control it with a smartphone, key, a digital code, and also fingerprint. I have fingerprints. So here's one big lock part. Four AA batteries. This is a bridge, it says. Ultra lock bridge. Some basic deadbolt hardware. It looks like they give you tools you need. And then this piece, which is the Ultra Lock Master Module. Right here is a spot for a micro USB cord. It's got manual control still. That's an important part. The purpose is for this to replace an existing deadbolt. On the quick start instructions, it looks like this little module is a Bluetooth to Wi Fi bridge. It does give you a template in case you have to cut the door if you're not replacing an existing lock. I am replacing an existing lock, so I will have a hole already. They should be the same size. Hopefully they're pretty standard. Depending on the back set of your lock, you can adjust this depending on how close the circle is to the edge of the door. Depending on the thickness of your door, you clip this off at one of those marks. Oh, and there's the keyhole. It's going to be inside this piece here. I assume the app will tell you when your batteries are low. Uh, and if they run all the way out, you connect a battery pack, like a 5-volt charging battery pack for a phone, to this port to power it up. Don't let the batteries die. Lithium batteries may have longer life, but when they begin to fail, they fail quickly. We don't recommend them because they don't give you a lot of time to change your batteries before the lock is completely dead. Please don't use any rechargeable battery. It's actually really good instructions. Really good English. Well done. I think that's all I can do sitting at my desk. Time to go install it. Okay, got to take this apart. You can use this to tell if you need to shorten it or not. This is my original one that was in the door. This is the new one. So I need to adjust it so that they're the same size. All right. Now I can replace this one with this one. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter which side is up. Oh, yeah, it does. It says up. Pay attention to up, I guess. Okay, that's a good test. Works well. Next. So same kind of scenario here probably. We need these to be the same length. So we can clip this off based on the length of the one that's already in the door. There's nothing quite as awesome as sitting down to edit a video and realizing that the audio cut off partway through. So here we are again to reshoot some of the stuff I already shot, but this time with sound. <laughs> when we last left our hero, he had just finished installing this plate, these two screws. This has this tab sticking out and we left two squares. It says you need to leave one or two. I left two. The external part is installed. You can put the key in, or thumbprint, or digital code. Last thing we need to do is install this part on the inside. This is where the batteries will go. There's two screw holes here. Those are going to line up with those holes right there. So you want to make sure that this is up and down when this is horizontal. There's an electronics connector here. We just connect this to it. And then we can kind of shove that wire back in there a little bit. This 
tab has to go in this X. Now we can put these tiny screws in. I love a kit that comes with the tools you need. Cost them a few cents to throw a screwdriver in there, but just makes everything so much more convenient. So thank you, Ultralock, for the screwdriver. Unlike most toys at Christmas, this lock actually comes with batteries. They're supposed to last a while. I don't know how long. There you go. And that's it. It's installed. Well, looky here. There's an installation video already. I guess this was all unnecessary. So I guess it's time to work on the app. There's a QR code for the app. We know what to do with that. Okay, there's the UTech app. Get. All right, open. I like to use Bluetooth. Yeah, that's probably important. Send you notifications. Yeah, that's probably important. Create an account. Setting up the account is just like it is for lots of other apps. You have to put your phone number in and then it will text you a verification code to make sure you're really you. Once you got the correct verification code in, then you get to add a new device. It scans for the lock and finds it pretty quickly. Then you set up an admin code. I like this feature. It lets you take a picture of your lock, just in case you forgot what it looks like. Give it a name and then tell the app which way your deadbolt is mounted. Mine looks like the one on the left. And that's it. I can click on the picture of my back door and lock it and unlock it. You can add a bunch of different users. They can either be admins, normal users, or temporary users. You put in an email address for your new user and it will send them an invitation. And then they'll be able to use the app and the lock to choose an access code and to put in their own fingerprints. The bridge is what allows you to control your lock when you're away from home. When you're at home on your phone, I think you're connecting to your lock through Bluetooth. But when you have the bridge and you connect the bridge to your home network, it gets access to the internet. Then when you're away from home, you can use the app to lock and unlock your door. So in the app, we've got the lock. It says it's locked. It is. And if I click that, it unlocks. Yay! And it gives you a red light. This is nice. It tells you, hey, your door's unlocked. You can see it from across the room that the door's unlocked. This turns on the lights. That's cool. So that turns on the backlight so you can see it at night. Logs. Oh, this will tell you when it was opened or closed and who did it. So I add myself as a user. Oh, good. Now we can do the fingerprint thing. Sweet. Oh, now I get to add a user code. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so that was my code. How do I use my fingerprint? Oh, there it goes. So I can lock it. Lock. Yay. Auto lock. <laughs> so this is a pretty nice little lock, I gotta say. It checks all the boxes except one. I can lock it and unlock it with an app. I love that it has a fingerprint and a code as well, oh, and a key if you're feeling primitive. You can still manually lock it and unlock it, very important. But the one thing I don't know yet is whether or not you can use it with other systems like Home Assistant. I'll do a little investigating and we'll see. Mrs. Z's is gonna love it. She's the door lock freak. Make sure all the doors are locked so the trollocs don't come in the night, steal the kids. Okay. Well, that's the install and review of the Ultralock. I like it. As of right now, it doesn't integrate into Home Assistant. That's too bad. I have emailed the Ultralock folks and asked them to consider working with the Home Assistant developers to get it included. Other big lock companies like August have integrations. And at least for me and my community of viewers, that's an important piece. Aside from that, this lock does everything I want it to do. It's easy to manually override from the inside or the outside with a key if anything electrically goes wrong. The app works well. The fingerprint scanner works well. And I like the option of the numeric codes as well. I still wish there was a more DIY version of these kinds of locks. I'd love to be able to just buy the hardware and then put custom firmware on it. That may be too much to ask. Anyway, it's a good lock.
I'm happy with it. That's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, adios. If you need help or want to chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can use my special product links in the video description or head over to Patreon or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.